Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on schedules. Win Automation offers the option to plan the execution of a process at a future date or time. In this video, we are going to talk about schedules. For example, let's say that there is a process that performs a backup of all the documents stored in a particular folder, and that you want this process to run on a daily schedule at 5 p.m. You can set a specific date and time, or specify time intervals for one process to execute. When the right time comes, as long as there is no option preventing a process to run, the process automatically starts. To create a schedule, you have to click on the Scheduler tab of the Win Automation console and add a new scheduler. There are two types of schedules. The first kind of schedule allows you to plan the execution of a process through a wide range of options. The other kind is the recurring schedule, with which you can set a process to run recursively. Let's see how to add a schedule. When adding a schedule, its properties will appear. In the upper section, you can set a custom description for the schedule explaining the purpose of this schedule. Next, there is the option to select between daily, monthly, and weekly execution, or execution on specific dates, where you would select the exact dates for the execution by clicking on the Add Date button. Once the dates are set, the specific times for the execution need to be set as well. In this case, let's set the sample process to run daily at 5 p.m. In the next option, you can specify what should be done in case the computer is turned off or a lack of resources prevents the process to start at the time the process is scheduled to execute. Win Automation can either run as soon as the computer is turned on next, or if the set time is missed, it can skip the process altogether. For now, let's leave it set to the first option. Finally, you have the choice of setting an expiration date for your schedule, so that after the specified date, the schedule becomes inactive. We do not want to do so in this example, so we'll just click OK to set the schedule. As a next step, you would need to select the process to which this schedule will be assigned to. As you have created the schedule, the selected process will run every day at 5 p.m. from now on. Alternatively, you can set a process to run periodically every X number of seconds, minutes, or hours. For example, you can set a recurring schedule to execute a process that checks if there are changes in a particular folder, and thus complete a backup of this folder earlier than the scheduled time. For this, let's form a recurring schedule. As in the regular schedule, here you can set a custom description as well, explaining the purpose of this recurring schedule. Next, you need to set the periodicity of your schedule by selecting every how many seconds, minutes, or hours the process shall be executed. In this case, let's set the process to run every 15 minutes. As before, you must select the process with which this recurring schedule will be linked to. Now, on the console, you can see the two schedules along with their description, the process they are associated with, and whether or not they are enabled. You can temporarily enable or disable a schedule by unticking the Enabled option or by using the buttons above. By clicking on the button located in the top section, or by right-clicking on the schedule and selecting the Go to Process option, the related process is automatically shown. The opposite can happen from the Processes tab as well, by selecting Show Schedules on Process. As you can see, you can add a schedule directly from the process. With the exception of this, from the top section of the Schedules pane, you can add a schedule, reassign it to another process, copy-paste it, or permanently delete it. With this tutorial, you are ready to set your processes to run on a schedule.